I'm Dr. Langley. I work here in beautiful Pine Ridge Family Medicine in beautiful Colorado Springs. The clinic is beautiful as well as the city. Uh, and I get questions a lot about what cryotherapy is and what it can be used for and how we do it here in our clinic. So there's lots of different ways to do cryotherapy. We happen to use liquid nitrogen. We have a, a big tank in the back that gets filled every once in a while. It slowly melts and disperses itself, uh, evaporates, I guess would be the proper term for it. I had to look this up, but liquid nitrogen is usually a negative 300, negative 320 to negative 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's really cold. And uh, so that's why we use it as an instant freezing device for killing uh, benign skin lesions and sometimes pre-malignant or maybe even malignant skin lesions, but usually we leave the malignant skin lesions to the experts. So what was that that I just said? That was kind of a lot of words. Here's a list of the common things that I treat with cryotherapy. Uh, but before this melts, I wanted to give you a little demonstration. So the basic idea is you apply the super cold liquid to the skin to freeze the cells and kill them because you don't like those cells. Now, I don't have a particular uh, issue with some of these moles, but I'm going to freeze one for you. You can just about see that one. So there's a mole right there. It's not actually deserving of being frozen. It's just for video purposes. But I take a little swab, just a little cotton swab, and dip it in liquid nitrogen. I could even pull off some of the uh, fibers there and make a, a finer tip for me to get to a really small spot if I wanted to, to make sure I'm just freezing the lesion that I want to. Dip it in the liquid nitrogen and apply it to that little mole. And it stings. No worse than your kid brother pinching you though. And it kind of turns white, leaves a little indentation. It's frozen cells. And that over the next day will turn red and irritated. Like if you stayed too long, if you touched a, a really cold ice cube for too long, um, to really make sure that I totally killed that lesion, I could apply it a couple times. And it's not actually the freezing that tends to kill those kinds of lesions where I'm doing it multiple times as much as the freezing and then thawing and then freezing and thawing. Because if you remember from uh, high school chemistry, frozen things, frozen water in your cells are really spiky. They're full of sharp edges and those sharp edges are going to be what kills those cells. It ruptures the cells in your skin and makes uh, the skin have to regenerate, hopefully without that lesion that you didn't want there in the first place. So that's liquid nitrogen being applied to the skin for you. It's also kind of cool as a party trick. I'll dribble some onto the floor. Look at that, if you can see that. Ah, very neat. Um, not for playing with though, just for medical things, clearly. So some of the skin lesions that I regularly treat with cryotherapy uh, are things like skin tags, just little bits of skin that are sticking out. They tend to run in families and become more numerous as you get older and especially happen where the skin is folded sometimes. So the armpits are along the neck. Super easy to freeze them. Uh, they tend to kind of fall off and be kind of crusty, scabby, maybe even turn black and fall off. So that's not so pleasant. Um, it's sometimes easier just to cut them off with some scissors in clinic. Um, but it is an option. Uh, solar lentigos, also called liver spots, but solar lentigos are a more pleasant name, I think. Um, so dark spots on your skin uh, that appear as you get older, they can be frozen pretty easily and gotten rid of. <clears throat> kind of nice, sometimes leaves a scar, but generally not. Warts are a classic one. Uh, warts tend to be thickened areas of the skin with little tiny black dots on them is really the key sign that tells me if that's a wart um, and might benefit from freezing. It's hard to get rid of warts, though, in general. I mean, I have another video on warts if you want to see that one, but warts are hard to get rid of, and all the ways of getting rid of them are like 70 to 80% effective. <sighs> so not great, but all of them are kind of the same. So keep trying. Don't give up. Um, molluscum contagiosum is another little uh, virus that can cause skin irritation. Uh, happens a lot in kids. They look like little volcanoes on your skin. Usually it responds pretty well to freezing, especially uh, for little kids that aren't going to tolerate other kind of more painful ways of getting rid of them. And this just feels like a little pinch, so it can be a good option. Seborrheic keratoses are little scaly patches that you get, especially on sun-exposed areas of your skin. Sometimes you can scrape off the scaly bit and it bleeds a, couple, a little bit and then it comes right back. So I have a lot of patients very worried that that means it's cancer. Often it's a seborrheic keratosis or SK, um, and those are respond very well to freezing. 
Uh, actinic keratoses or an AK are a little bit different. Those tend to be more um, dry, like little itty bitty dry patches that are a little bit red and those can be pre-malignant. So those can lead to cancer if you don't treat them one way or another. And cryotherapy is a, a good easy way to treat them to make those go away and the skin cells to rethink their lives and reform as something that's not pre-malignant, not pre-cancerous, uh, which is always good. We like to teach those skin lessons. Skin cells, a lesson. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I enjoy treating people with uh, liquid nitrogen. It's something that's very effective and fast and not too painful, and it makes a big difference. So go see your doctor if you're interested about liquid nitrogen and uh, see if they'll play with it because it's kind of cool. But be very safe with it. It's very cold. Negative under 340 degrees. That's pretty cold. Anyway, uh, here's another video that you might enjoy watching. And there it is. And please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can learn more weird medical things from me. Thanks for watching.